A look at Loungefly. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of A Look at Loungefly. I'm Tiff, and today we're talking crossbodies. At Loungefly, we make amazing mini backpacks, but we have so many incredible crossbodies, so I want to share some with you today. First up, we have this cute little patch handbag. This is to celebrate the 60th anniversary of 101 Dalmatians. And he's got such great details. This is Patch. You can tell by the patch around his eyes. All of the puppies in 101 Dalmatians do have names. They are recognizable. Educate yourself. This guy is so adorable. His entire face is embroidered with a little nose applique. Love these 3D ears. They're super fun. And the back of this has your signature Dalmatian spots. Corella may have been onto something, but I didn't say that. I love that this bag you can wear as a regular handbag, but we're talking crossbodies, so you can add your adjustable crossbody strap right here on the little hooks on the side. Next up, if you have been following Loungefly for a while, then you may have noticed that we've been releasing a Disney Princess Castle Collection series, and our Snow White collection is finally here. The first Disney princess, we love a good Snow White moment. This collection is really cool because a lot of Snow White collections really play into the blues and the reds and the yellows as really bright primary colors. But this really tones it down, makes it feel a little more maybe magical, a little more whimsical with the tans and the blush pinks. We have a nice castle here, Snow White with her little woodland friends, and we have some really nice embroidery details on the flowers. Our Princess Castle Collection series really likes to tell the story of the princess. So we have Snow White here on the front, and we have our happy ending on the back. So we have a really another nice full print of the castle, and they live happily ever after on the back. So sweet. What's really great about both of these bags is they really show you the range of the types and sizes of bags that we make here at Loungefly. So if you're a really quick grab and go out the door, just your essentials, you've got a really nice small handbag here. But if you're like me and you need to take a book with you, you need to take your iPad, you need to be able to fit a sweater, we're gonna have a bag that fits that too. We have these and so many more amazing crossbodies right now on loungefly.com, so go check it out. That's it for this week's episode of A Look at Loungefly. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Funko Fun TV. Let's play Funko Games. Hello gamers and welcome to this week's episode of Let's Play Funko Games. I'm Adam and today we are taking a trip to Battle World. Thanos has trapped Marvel heroes from across the multiverse onto his new treacherous battle planet called Battle World. He has trapped them inside the mysterious Thanos stones and it's up to you to rescue the heroes and defeat Thanos. In Marvel Battle World, we started with Series 1, The Mystery of the Thanos Stones. It kicks off the entire story. Then we have Series 2, Treachery at Twilight, where Loki is trying to trick Thanos into getting him the Twilight Sword. And now we have Series 3, Ultimate Armory, where we have added armor tokens to make battles more difficult. But if you win the battle, you get that armor token and get to upgrade one of your stats. So now let's talk about how to play. This is a game for one to four players. A battle ball has everything you need to play for one to two players. And once you combine battle balls or get a mega pack, it expands the play up to four players. At the start of a round, if your hero is exhausted on the gray side, then you flip it over and you can move your hero to any other location in Battle World. Then it's time for the battle phase, where you're going to look at the stat on the location you're at compare it to the stat on your card, and roll the die. You're gonna add the total of the die to the stat on your card to see if you're able to win that battle. If you don't roll a number higher, then you're gonna add a danger token to the top of the track or advance at one spot. If you're able to move your hero all the way along the battle track, you have defeated that location and you flip it face down. If, however, the danger token reaches the end of its track, you have lost that battle. You flip the card face down and put the danger token on top. Now, let's talk about those mysterious Thanos stones. There are Marvel heroes trapped inside. If, when you reveal a new location, you reveal one that has a Thanos stone, you place it on top. When you defeat that battle, you get to crack open the Thanos stone and use that hero immediately in your adventure. 
Then, at the beginning of the next round, you flip your heroes back over and start again. The number of battles you need to win is noted in the directions for the number of players that are playing. And that is Marvel Battle World. As you can see, there's a lot. We have mega packs, battle balls, accessories, expansions that you can all combine together to create your own epic Battle World experience. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Let's Play Funko Games. I'm Adam, and until next time, let's play.